I'm Jenna Marbles and welcome to my Ratchet Hair Salon. Jenna Marbles. <laughs>
Brad yeah, is vlogging today. Um, so just did the grocery shopping. I found these. We use a lot of reusable containers because Jared never remembers to bring the Tupperware home. We wasted so much money throwing Tupperware out and losing it. So these are sugarcane pulp, like meal prep things. So I got those. And I'm halfway through cooking like a big batch up of like Mexican bowl. So I've done the, this is onion and peppers, like a bunch of different types of peppers. And then on the stove, I got a big pot of rice and this is corn, <laughs> stop it, corn, sweet corn and spring onion. And then I'm going to do the mince onion coriander. And on all the other vegetables, I've used mingo, mingo taco seasoning. I like it because it's sugar free and stuff. And then on the meat, I'm going to use this pineapple, mango and lime chipotle spice blend. It's hot, but it's nice. Um, and the sweetness of, whoa, sorry, the sweetness of the pineapple and stuff that I've got um, breaks it up and I haven't put it on everything, so it will be fine, but we're doing a big batch cook. Jared's cleaning like a madman because we've got our first house inspection because this is a rental um, tomorrow, so he's cleaning. Uh, and yeah, we're all just doing house stuff. So I'll uh, film a bit when I'm just at a point in cooking where I can show you. I'm also going to make like a green, a green cooked salad. I'm just, I, I need nutrients and health because I've been so sick and my autoimmune diseases keep flaring. Um, like I haven't been as bad as if, if you watch my TikTok and all that, I put a video up the other day saying that a couple of weeks ago, let me put this down somewhere. Where can I put you? Nah, where can I put you that you can see me up there maybe? Uh, yeah, so um, a couple of weeks ago, I had a big flare of my POTS syndrome, which is an autoimmune disease I have, and it was bad. It's the worst one I've ever had. I had like, what, like six, six back to back. Six back to back seizures. My heart stopped. I was like in and out of consciousness. Um, and I was just real sick and it took days for me to feel better. My arm hurt, like all the muscles in my oh, shoulder wait, down yeah. my arm. Um, I could barely use my arm for days and my hands kept going numb because all the muscles um, spasmed while I was seizuring. And um, my chest really hurt. Um, and then I was like, well, I don't know what's caused this. Usually when it's that like bad like that and my heart stops and I have a seizure and stuff it's um usually triggered by like a viral infection or like really bad gastro or something and so I was like I think that's what it is and then sure enough like three or four days after it I got a really bad flu so I'm still like it's snotty and like got a bit of a cough and stuff my chest is still like a tiny bit sore every now and then but I'm mostly better but I just I need help now. Um, I think it's just, there's been a lot going on. A lot of stress with my Facebook got hacked and I've lost it. I've lost the income from that. Um, we moved, like there's just been a lot happening and I just, I just need to like reset my body, fill it full of nutrients. So that's what we're doing. So I'll show you when I've done more stuff. All right, so I've meal prepped those. I ran out of rice. So I didn't 100% get to finish. So there's another one that can be separated into two when there's rice. Um, but basically, that's what we've got. And so I've got eight of them. And it would be ten if I had enough rice. Jared just found some more, which would have made enough rice. But I didn't know there was a little bit of a packet left separately. What's it called? Uh, that's Mexican bowl. Mexican bowl. So now he's riding on them. And now I need to sit down because my fibro is flaring. Flaring. I just realized I forgot to end yesterday's vlog. Um, meal prepping always makes me go into a fibro flare. I love it. The meal prepping, not the flare. But yeah, it really <sighs> screws me up for a day or so. Um, so... <laughs> I'm a bit sore today, but this is the green salad I made. I had to make some substitutions. I couldn't find quinoa, so I used black rice. And they had no asparagus, so I used snow peas instead. But annoyingly, when I went to the supermarket today, they had asparagus. But I've already made it, so next time 
I will do asparagus. And then I also today, when I was at the shops, just picked up some goat's cheese um, because I just think that that's really going to um, make this even better. So it's black rice, avocado, spinach, peas, cucumber, snow peas, pine nuts, and then the dressing is lemon juice, um, olive oil, balsamic vinegar. I only had balsamic and oregano, but that's fine. And manuka honey. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I'm going to put some goat's cheese on this. And then I think it's going to be delicious. Yeah. Oh, look what you got, little princesses. Goat's cheese, honestly, just mm, turns every dish into a ten. Apart from that, I've been pretty good today. I've also cutting down on my caffeine. Cutting down this week, cutting out next week. So I'm not dieting. I'm just making healthier choices. I'm cutting out the caffeine slowly. And then once the caffeine's cut, and then going to um, cut down on my sugars. But I gotta quit the caffeine first and I gotta go through the withdrawals of that before sugar. Sugar, I really struggle with quitting sugar. I have tips if anyone needs tips on how to quit sugar. I can do a video on that. Let me know in the comments. If you are someone who is an emotional or boredom eater, I have some great tips for quitting sugar. Leave a comment if you want that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to try and remember to do this more regularly. I'm getting back into things after having a bit of a break from being sick and from my uh, Facebook being <laughs> hacked. Um, but I'm getting back into the swing of things now. And yeah, see you in the next video. Meant to be.